I'm a food artist. I've done hundreds of pieces over the years, and something that started out as a hobby, I could see myself doing for the rest of my life. Harley Langberg is a 34-year-old dad and partner at an investment company, but his side hustle, playing with his food. His creativity dates back to his childhood. Having grown up in New York City with some of the best museums, galleries, street art, and then taking art history classes, I've had such an appreciation for art, and my favorite is mixed media. And in a sense, that's what I'm creating today. While studying for a business degree at Northwestern University, Harley also completed a culinary program before moving back to the Big Apple. I was living in the meatpacking district near Chelsea Market. They had a food art photography exhibition throughout the walls of the market. And I remember standing in front of each piece for like 15 minutes, you know, just admiring it, trying to figure out the ingredients. And I said, you know what? I want to try this. Since that moment, nine years ago, Harley has put his own flavor on paper, or should we say plates. Once I decide on an image, I will take that image on my iPhone, go right to Whole Foods, I'm running around the produce section, trying to match up all the colors and trying to match up the textures, and then I'll get the ingredients, come home, get to work, take out my cutting board, my knife, my food art plate, and my toothpicks. Over time, he's tried and tested the most fruitful ingredients for food art. Cookie dough is such a fun ingredient to work with because you can dye it any color. It's almost like clay or Play-Doh. You can mold it, you can shape it, you can sculpt it. I almost always use either eggplant or plum and turnip because it looks really great when you photograph it. One of the most unusual ingredients I've used is dried anchovies. Silver and gray is a tricky color, and those really have a natural, beautiful silver gray quality to them. Harley's menu masterpieces have included celebrity portraits, landscapes, holidays, animals, and more. One of my favorite portraits that I did is of Serena Williams. I'm a huge tennis fan, and when she retired, I wanted to do a piece that would commemorate this momentous occasion. And I used cookie dough that I dyed with food coloring, pasta, which I always love to use for the hair, Sarah belts for her clothing, and I wanted to create a 3D component, so I carved a lemon to look like a tennis ball, which was a lot of fun. Sometimes they'll just do a character. White Lotus was super popular and I loved it, so of course I had to do Tanya, which got a really great response from everybody. One of my favorite pieces is my tiger. It's almost like ready to jump out at you. I use soy sauce to dye the mashed potatoes brown, rice noodles for the whiskers and the hair to really bring a lot of texture. And I used some yellow pepper, some red potato. Some of Harley's pieces take up to five hours to complete. One of the pieces that took the most time to create was my sushi platter Oreo. I remove the top cookie, I take all the cream, and then I mix it with food coloring, and then I will create an image on that cookie. And it's very challenging because you're working on a very tiny surface area, but you know, I, I really enjoy a challenge. For Harley's nearly 40,000 social media followers, his art is a sight for sore eyes and hungry stomachs. I think the fact that food is so universal and so global is really what gets people excited because they can see really like, oh wow, I had that for dinner last night and now it's, you know, a portrait. Not everything you do in life is fulfilling. I find that fulfilling, being able to inspire others. That's really cool. They're kind of neat. Then he photographs it. They got a little thing here made out of cookie dough and some blueberries. What are your eyes? Tortillas. My eyes. Uh, are your glasses? Blueberries. <laughs> uh, cookie dough. Uh -oh. uh, anyway, Harley photographs the art. <laughs> then he either eats it or uses the ingredients throughout the week. Okay. Uh, and he made this uh, third hour art using uh, that cookie dough. So we should hang that in the third hour workspace. We That's right. We don't have one. We have a workspace? No. no, no we we got the air. It's over by Phoebe. What floor is that? Fifth floor. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Isn't that sad that we're all like, we have a workspace? Yeah. We have a workspace. Yeah. You never come up to the workspace. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> so that's what you guys do after the show. <laughs> nice.